Now, the football Clarendon College have claimed their 11th hold on the Isidore Costa Cup trophy after an emphatic victory against the parish rivals Glenmuir as eight goals were scored between the two inside the National Stadium last night. Christopher Scott reports. There were many questions that were asked heading into the rural area spectacle. Was Lightning going to strike in the same place twice or can Clarendon College retain their title? Well, the defending champions certainly answered the latter as they showed their class, dispatching their neighbors Glenmuir 6-2 in an unforgettable final. Standout player Kaim Dixon was once again the star of the show, getting a hat-trick in the grand finale. The sound of the opening whistle had barely reached the ears of the stadium crowd before Dixon sent Clarendon in front, netting in the second minute. And the Clarendon supporters had more to cheer for seven minutes later when Jamel Ashley doubled their advantage. While Clarendon College had a dream start, Glenmuir's nightmare continued as two became three when a dancing Dixon dillied and dallied his way into the box for his second and Clarendon's third in the 21st minute. Ashley then made sure that the defending champions would go into halftime with a four-goal advantage, adding his second in stoppage time. Glenmuir did get a goal back as Romario Thompson put the ball into his own net in minute 63. However, Clarendon College would restore their four-goal lead shortly after with Deandre Gallimore scoring in the 67th. Substitute Ora Miller became the fifth scorer on the night when he got Glenmuir second in the 75th minute, but it was the magician Dixon who had the final say, completing the goal rush with a sprinkle of gold dust, completing his hat-trick in second half stoppage time to seal the statement win and back-to-back -back title triumphs. Technical director of Clarendon College, Len with Hyde, says he was pleased with the attitude shown by the players. The boys really deliver for the school tonight. They played hard. They played with a lot of discipline and like determination. Or we play the intensity was high because this is the final. The mistakes we made in the last game. We went to the training ground and work on them, and we showed it, we showed it to the on the pitch. And the head coach of Glenmuir, Andrew Peart, spoke about the reason for the result. Yeah, the start is a difference. Um, 3 nil down after 11 minutes is always going to be tough. Always going to be tough. And that's what made a difference today. It's just a start. Nothing else. Clarendon College will turn their attention to the Olivia Shield, where they will face Mona High on Wednesday at Glenmuir starting at 3 p.m. Christopher Scott... TVJ Sports. Meanwhile,